Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to a 7 days to die challenge video I'm calling the 5 by 5 challenge. A lot of people have messaged me or emailed me about doing a series where we have to build a base from scratch, but that base must be contained within a 5 by 5 block area. We can go as high as we want or dig as low as we want, but uh, we cannot place any blocks including plates, bars or spikes outside the 5 by 5 area. Now, instead of doing a playthrough series like that, I thought it would be better to just do a one-off 5 by 5 build because then we can try multiple builds and designs and see how each of them fare against a zombie horde. So this is my first design. It was the first idea that popped in my head. It's small and simple, and that's how I wanted the first build to be. So let's take a look at what's going on here. This is where the zombies will enter. There's a ladder going up. They will get shot in the face by this dart trap right here. And then I'm sure they'll proceed up the ladder. They'll get electrocuted by these electrical wires here. And then I've got a sledge turret right here that will hopefully push them off the ladder and out of the base. Now you can see here where I put in my electrical fence posts. There's another one over here. And then around this area, you can see where I knocked out that Tetris piece so I can fit the uh, sledge turret in there. And hopefully that thing does what it's supposed to do and pushes zombies out of the base. But even if it does, a lot are going to get past it and they will be met with another dart trap that's going to be shooting down on them. And we are going to install a set of bars right here. Like that and upgrade them to steel that will obviously prevent the zombies from getting all the way up the ladder We'll do our fighting right here try and keep the bars repaired We can always close the hatch and get some repair work done if we need to it's gonna be quite a scramble The battery bank is of course powering the electrical lines and also these switches that are connected to the dart traps and that's uh Pretty much it. I told you it was simple. There's an escape door here. That's really just our way in and out of the base. We're not going to be doing any escaping. If we leave the 5x5 five five base during the horde, that is considered a failure. And of course, if they breach the bars and kill us up here, that is also considered a failure. I left this open right here just so I can show you guys there is a corner plate block. And I use that for the corners. This way I was able to uh, not go outside of the five by five block limit. So that's it. Pretty damn simple. Uh, we got a junkie. Let's put him down right here. He'll help us shoot at the zombies as they're coming up the ladder. And that's it. Hopefully the electrical wires do good work. The dart traps do good work. The sledge turret does what it's supposed to do. And we might just survive the night up here. And if we do, great. That's not going to stop me from trying other builds and other designs. But if we don't, then will come up with something that's a bit more complicated than this, you know? Um, but like I said, that's why I wanted to try something simple for the first build, to see if something as simple as this um, could could last against the, the day 169 horde. And that's kind of the reason I left it concrete as well, instead of going steel everywhere. Now we can see where the weak points are. Uh, just to give you an idea, my character is level 300. That's maxed out. I guess I should put on some fucking clothes and armor before we fight the horde. Game stage is 561, and that is because, of course, I fast-forwarded time to day 169. So, uh, now you know where my character is and where my game stage is, so you kind of get an idea of how big this horde is going to be. Let's bring it on and see how this base does. All right, let's get this battery bank turned on, and I will give it a moment to turn on the dart traps. Here we go. I hear them. All right, let's do it. They're getting electrocuted. So far, they're not even up here yet. See if the sledge turret is, is doing anything. Hard to get a look down there. Oh, yeah, it's hitting them. Whether it's hitting them out of the base, I can't tell. But so far, dude, the dart traps and the electrical fence posts are slowing them down quite a bit. Crazy. 
This might work. Um, in terms of in terms of weaponry, as you can see, I have a SMG, an AK, and a shotgun. I put a um, drum magazine on both the SMG and the AK, and that's probably what I'll use primarily. SMG seems to be doing pretty well. Oh, that's disturbing. Like a fucked up Christmas ornament. Holy shit. Shoot him in the face. Alright, we don't want a demolisher blowing up here. That's definitely something we don't want. Man, they are. They they do some damage to the steel. Seems like a lot quicker than they used to, right? Let's get the AK reloaded. Pop this hatch open and... Go back to work. Holy shit, look at that. Oh my god. So many zombies. That is ridiculous. Holy shit, don't blow up. Oh, fuck. Well, that's not good. The hatch is gone already. No more hatch. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know. It's not looking good now. You know, I, I considered demolishers, but I was like, ah, oh, just shoot them in the face. We can get them killed before they blow up. Oh my god, look at the damage they, they're doing to these bars already. And I can't even slow them down with the hatch anymore. This is really just going to be a matter of time. Fuck, again? Holy shit. Look at this, dude. Well, that's some fucked up yoga pose right there. Well, that makes it all worth it. That's all worth it now. I'm ready to die. Let's do it. Go ahead. Blow up, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Look at this. Look at the damage these blocks have taken. Just from those demolisher explosions. Absolutely insane. It, it was working great at first. All up until that demolisher blew up. That's like... Uh, that's, uh, that's always the biggest problem with bases now, isn't it? Dealing with demolishers. They were a really good addition to the game. I'm really glad the fun pips put those zombies in the game. Because uh, they really fucking changed everything. Oh, I can't even get this thing reloaded. Oh, there we go. Took his head off. At least he didn't explode. Um, I want to get Junkie reloaded and put down. That's going to be tough to do, though. Holy shit. All right. He's dead. He didn't blow up. I mean, the... The demolisher's blowing up. Oh, my God. Nothing is reloaded, and they're getting up here. Oh, my God. Oh, they're going to break through. I cannot repair it fast enough. Oh, shit. That's it. They're up, and we are dead. Fuck. Didn't even last two hours. Well, let's go out swinging at least. Fuck you, you bunch of meat puppets. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Shit, I wanted that base to do better than that. Well, I'll tell you, all the damage really was the demolishers blowing up. If it wasn't for them, this base would have been just fine, I think. The dart traps were, were working, the electrical fence posts were working. Once that first demolisher blew up, it, it fucked the electrical fence posts. And this sledge turret really wasn't doing much. I really don't think it was pushing any zombies out of the base. It was dealing a bit of damage, but... I don't know. We probably been, would have been better off with a shooting junkie down there, but eventually that thing would have ran out of ammo and we wouldn't have any way to reload it. Yeah, all this damage is from all those demolishers blowing up. I thought I'd be able to just get some headshots in on them and kill them quickly, but it was just mayhem, dude. Crazy. Uh, I mean, the ladder held up. Ooh, it, I mean, well, it was about to get destroyed. Oh, well. Like I said, this was the first idea that popped in my head, and I was like, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. You know, I didn't think it was going to work, but I thought it would hold up at least past two hours, shit. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I've got some other ideas, ones that are more complicated than this and will take a bit more time to build. So I'll get working on that and we'll try this again. And I urge all of you to try it as well. The 5x5 five five challenge. Tag me in it so I can check it out. Because this community is much more creative than I am when it comes to building shit. So I would love to see the designs you guys come up with. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more city life and some other shit I got coming up, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.